All right, all right. We're back. Let's go make an example out of somebody. Does it not give me uh, like a path, a waypoint path or anything? I know we're vaguely where I'm going, but still. Oh yeah, that's right. Still got the bounty going. I forgot to give the pelts to uh, Pearson. It's okay. When I come back, I can. Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Downs! Wait, confront what? Hold on, what? Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Come on. We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. Come on. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Oh shit, indeed. No, but it's been a while. Oh, 
Driscoll boy. That dang liquor cleaned my plow. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh. Good old Bill. Well, good. Oh. I feel terrible. Yeah, y'all probably shouldn't have drank so much. Of course I am. Good morning to you. Ooh, that was some night. Managing to keep everyone in line? I'm doing my best. Any troublemakers, you let me know. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. You must have some warm blood if that's all you're wearing. Another day, another dollar. Yes, indeed. All right, Strauss. They gave him a beating. He didn't have any money, but I gave him a beating. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. That people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. All right. I want to head into Valentine. And do a little bit of shopping first. Before we go see Mary. Come on. Let's go, boy. Oh, we got another bounty right there, but we can do that later. Uh, there it is. Charles wants to go hunting. I think that's Charles. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Get, get off. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. Sounds good. Come on, boy. You know. It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but... I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. There we you go. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. All okay? right. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Leader. Oh, shit. All right, I think. Yep, Charles yeah. knows which one we picked. Yeah, I think it's slowing down. Target Charles. Uh, 
Wow, okay. Well done. All right. Skin and butchery. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. What can There we go. Okay. This is a female. Didn't know bison had a, but I guess they are technically like cows. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount it. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where? We going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. All right. Wait. Which which way are you going? Yep. Yep. Oh no! Is he stuck up there? Yeah. Oh god, he's stuck. I think. Oh nope. Never mind. Someone do that. I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. Alright. Lead the way. I'm following you, Charles. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Fuck with the natives. Animal cruelty. There are several reasons. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Campfire. I'm just sort of up oh, there. We go. That's better. Folks haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So, what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. All right. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? There's a campfire right there. I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Yeah, there's a there's a bit of a difference. Get him, Charles. Just calm down. Keep your head. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. 
We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. All right, buddy. What Let's the have a hell chat. Are you doing? Why are you <laughs> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Oh, damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. Why? We'll make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Oh, please. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Oh, they've got this lockbox. <clears throat> Documentation for a poison throwing knife. Can I? There we go. Let's. Dude, did he shoot him like right through the upper chest and neck? Jesus. Take that horse reviver. It's needed. Can't take any more tobacco products, I guess. All right, come on, boy. Okay, boy. Back up to Valentine. Yep. We go. Just want to see if we can purchase any You're new guns, right, and I want to customize the shotgun a little bit. Come here, get my best. Come here, come here, you horn bastard. Gotcha. Come here, it's okay, it's all right. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to murder you. Thank you. Pick it up. And yes, I agree with that, Arota. I very much do. What did I? Oh! Shit, the bison hey, pelt, that's right. Alright, well, we'll just skin this one. We can get another one. I know, boy. Nearly done. A blind man. There you go. Make your final moments your best okay, moments, sir. Boy. No glory Let's... and forget about shame. Okay. Right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, boy. Oh, that's what are those prong horns? Yes. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. There, boy. Yeah. That's it, boy. 
and in we go. Uh, let's go the other way around, cut so I can sell these pelts. Di Dio, andiamo! Andiamo, ma che fai? Ah, shit, ok. Pezzi di merda! I'm not getting into this. Just take me. You earn this. I'm the one who goes to prison. Because I saved somebody's life. Okay. And I probably lost that other revolver, so I have to buy it again. Or it might be on my horse. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Let's uh, let's actually talk to the gun store owner first. I was at jail cell. I can Shut smell up. you across the street from a shop. Shut. Up. So, what are you aiming for today? Thank you. Browse. Let's have a look. Can't get those yet. Any new uh Springfield rifle? What about repeaters? Well, these are shotguns. Did I pass repeaters? Hold on. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. Okay, so nothing new. Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Yes, I know. Uh, where is, there it is. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Iron sights. That's great. Stock. Dangerous. No, we're not going to go with a wrap. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Uh, what is this affecting? Bolts, where is that? Nope, we're gonna keep it black, I think. Wait, oh, this is the trigger. Okay. Any information about anything, anything at all, you give me a shout. Carvings. Nope. 
Oh no, wait, it's engravings. Let's go black. What about if we did? If it weren't okay, for all so the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. And let's actually change this up. Frame. Wait, was that blue? That that looks disgusting. And triggers. All right. I've had my fair share. Of See ya. Wait, where'd the bounty go? There was a bounty right here. You really think you're trying to get a rise me? from me? <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but you know. Yep, yep. Let's go. If it's how it goes. Arthur need a haircut? I don't think so. Everyone knows oh, you shit. Back Gotta up, back up, back up. Uh, so it goes. Sell some stuff. Well, then, uh, sure, I'm buying. Here you go. Apparently, actually, what is this? Thanks, Mr. I don't think I've ever checked this out. What is this? Hello there. Here Hello. For the show? There's a shelf for uh, 50 cents. Take it, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. Well, it's the only tent here, so of course. country was young, but the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear oh, that's horrific. was by the stream, and old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. Again? Bear is, is the bear schizophrenic? The of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. Okay. <laughs> but he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Oh. Bear 
snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Well, that, that's not why bears hibernate. But I guess the moral of the story is A, climate change is real, and B, uh, do what your elders say or you're gonna die in, in a frozen tundra. <laughs> Goodbye. Something is telling me that I am able to rob him, <laughs> but I don't want to. I hate when that shit happens. I hear gunfire over here. left. You a dead man, know that? Ooh. Appreciate you stepping in there. Not a Those problem. bastard's been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told him where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. Your boys okay? You watch yourself, all right? Stay out of trouble. I'll try. Oh, we got some fresh corpses to loot. Did they have guns? No! Leave them alone! What were they supposed to do? Throw rocks at them? That's settled. Yeah, good boy. Oh, the bounty's back now. Let's see, do we have time? Not really. Alright, so we'll uh, hitch up get over there. And we'll see about it. drink and then go see your wife so that's what you do huh sleep with another man's woman i aim to be made a fool of i mean well that's what you are there sir welcome back well you made a fool out of here maybe i make a fool out of you you're just like a fly buzzing around ain't you no mm -hmm. brawling this time all right all I'm on my best behavior. Then give me some food. What's it to be? Lamb fry, yeah, lamb fry. Oh my god. I look dirty as shit. Okay. Well, uh, nope. Nope, no crouching. Still don't know how to play, po play poker. But uh, when we return, we'll probably hit up the bounty and go see Mary. And 
hopefully collect some debts. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're uh, on YouTube and you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.